All right, I show <clears throat> eight o'clock, can folks hear me? Thumbs up, yes, no, maybe so, cool, thank you. Um, so welcome to the uh, first support group conversation, uh, one of many previous FGUs. Um, I've got a few slides to go through. We're going to do a uh, tag team sort of an approach here. Um, I'll introduce some of the uh, the agenda in the first couple or first slide, and then we'll break into various sections and move on forward. So, uh, from agenda perspective, who's new? We got some self-managing GitLab haps, uh, and then Tom A is going to give us an update on uh, knowledge sharing progress, and then just a quick slide on Q3 and Q4 OKRs. <clears throat> so, very excited. We've got a new support APEC manager um, starting November 12th. So, we're at, he's actually um, engaged already and we're trying to get him some things to do before he even gets his first Mac. So um, we'll be welcoming him in a few weeks. Uh, and since our last uh, meeting, a lot of new talent to the team across the globe. I uh, listed them there. Hopefully you were all able to uh, hear their introductions on the first Tuesdays. Um, and if you haven't reached out and had a coffee chat with any of them, uh, please do so. Uh, they've all started to make a big impact on uh, the support team. So uh, a lot of great talent they added there. So thanks to recruiting and all involved, a lot of folks on the support team doing interviews, um, the exec team for sponsoring uh, offers and et cetera. So thank you all. It was a, a very busy quarter in recruiting. From self-managed, Lee, you're young. Hi, everyone. You get me for three slides today. Uh, I will let Tom know when to progress. Um, I wanted to just highlight a couple things um, around self-managed right now. We're really focusing on diving into Prometheus. We need that. We need to leverage this. We learned that from a um, customer um, experience. We had a huge outage with a large customer based in EMEA. Uh, and it took us four days to get through that. Prometheus was a huge help. And now we are evangelizing that like crazy. We really want that involved for any large distributed deployment. Uh, we've seen the light. Um, the other big thing that I want to highlight, Kubernetes is still challenging. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Daniel, who's on this call, and other Kubernetes team members who have been helping support. Uh, it's been really helpful, so support needs support, thank you. But Kubernetes still proves to be one of our bigger challenges as customers find those edges really fast um, around auto DevOps and, and Kubernetes uh, based deployments. So expect more from support there. And then lastly, uh, we are sending support delegates out into the world in every way, shape and form, trying to make sure that we are paying attention so if you see someone from support asking to join a meeting or asking for links to something or clarity, um, we're just trying to make sure we understand what's happening and that we're building the right bridges. Tom, next one. One of the real cool things that we've been focusing on on the self-managed side has been uh, performance, performance engineering. We want to take GitLab to the next level. And we think that it's our responsibility to help deliver performance as a feature to customers. Uh, making sure GitLab is fast and working and helping with customers means that we get to see GitLab in the wild. Uh, this is just a quick little graph. We were playing around with a tool called Ruby Spy um, by Julia Evans. Shout out to her. Great tool. Uh, we're learning how to use these tools to trace and better uh, manage the uh, application as a whole. So really excited there. And on this slide, I'll update it afterwards. Will Chandler from our team wrote an S-Trace parser uh, to help us move and, and get data out of S-Trace faster. So that's really awesome as well. So we are trying to drive towards more data-driven decisions uh, and make it easier for us to see how GitLab works every piece, all the way down to the system level. Awesome, Tom C, last one for me. Coming up here, if you would be so kind enough to change. Um, I'm known for charts and graphs, and yesterday was my GitLab two-year anniversary. So I wanted to take this premium SLA graph uh, and go two years. Uh, the, the bar at the bottom, that's two years of premium SLA. We still have not figured out the secret sauce, I'm sad to say. Uh, this is one of the biggest challenges we've had. There's still fluctuation. There's still ebbs and flows. 
but volatility has absolutely uh, been reduced. We're doing a great job. It, it, hires are proving uh, to make an impact. And just seeing this chart over the last two years gives me hope that we're on the right track, uh, but it is still one of our biggest challenges. Uh, so still diving in there. Uh, if you have thoughts, ideas, things you want to talk about, you can always find me um, and we'll go from there. Uh, so I'm going to pass it over to Lyle. I saw a question in chat, but I'll save it till the end. Yeah. Um, on the dot com side, we're full. We have um, all the agents that we plan to have, and that is fantastic. I don't know if there's very many places in GitLab where we're actually like not hiring. So that's cool. Uh, even better, like the, the number of tickets we're getting to the top, the size of our team is also good. Like we're, we're feeling comfortable, um, but we're not quite 100% on our SLAs. Um, and that's because we're focusing on learning to handle complex issues. So dot-com agents are quickly becoming much more developer focused. The tickets we're getting are harder CI questions. Um, and GitLab just moves fast and our customers are really hungry. So just a, a sort of an illustrative example is our first ticket on the Maven repositories feature was a week before the feature was officially launched. So that means that we have to know about things before we even know about things. Um, which is cool. It's a cool problem to have. Uh, and that's sort of Lee alluded to sort of building those bridges. Like those are, that's part of the reason why we want to build those bridges is so that we can make sure that we're providing uh, great support even before we release features. Uh, another thing that we've noticed a lot is like upgrades and renewals, like people want to give us money. And that is a great, great thing. Um, we're really happy that we're seeing lots of upgrades. Renewals requests just across the board into the right place and into the support queue. So we're really glad to have Kyla and Lewis handling these. Um, yeah, so we've just kind of been, yeah, uh, sorry. I, we all, I also wanted to mention that gift host is still a thing. Um, it's still around. Customers are slowly migrating off. Many are moving over to GitLab host. Um, and uh, so we, we are having some go to .com as well, John Woods. Um, so if you, if you click on that link, there's uh, sort of an informal partnership that Aileron set up. Um, and it, a lot of times the reason that they move is because of they have requirements for why they, like where the data can be stored. So we have some European customers where the data has to reside in Europe. So .com is just not viable. Uh, but we've also had a lot of the issues with GitHost um, as sort of like there's less support there and the team isn't as big. We've had issues with backups and upgrades certificates, backups again. Um, so we're looking forward to June, definitely. Uh, I think that's it for me. And I believe Tom A is next. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm the second Tom in the support world. Um, so for people who don't know me, I look after the support team in EMEA. Uh, so there are three of us, Lee, Lyle, and me at the moment, and soon the new person in APAC. Um, one of the things that I'm looking at this quarter um, is how support can share the knowledge we have. Uh, support engineers, support agents, answering tickets in Zendesk, uh, giving customers solutions. A lot of, the, most of that is private to the customer and it disappears into Zendesk, which is one of the few places in GitLab where uh, information is hidden away. So wherever possible, we want to make that knowledge public. Um, if a support engineer answers a question twice or three times, we shouldn't need to do that again. We should make it public and make it easy for a customer to find that information. And that'll help us scale, uh, helps customers self-serve, keeps them happier, um, and saves us having to be like machines and repeat ourselves. We can actually dig into new exciting stuff. So I'm exploring this at the moment. Um, nothing active yet, nothing decided, but we are hoping to make progress on it very soon. There are two parts to the project. Um, one is to find the place for us to publish stuff, uh, which uh, we have some ideas on. I've uh, been talking to some other teams about how to do this. And the other part is how to help customers and us, uh, GitLabers, search for this information. So there are some um, parallel efforts with some other teams um, the docs team, handbook, uh, 
also looking for improved search solutions. Uh, so we're dovetailing with them to get a great search solution for when customers, for us, when customers are submitting a ticket, that they will be prompted and suggested solution, likely solutions based on the knowledge we've shared. So those two things, uh, having definitely planning to have those up and running as soon as possible, certainly within Q4. Uh, and then after that, we want to be able to measure the success of this knowledge sharing. And there's various ways you can do this. Zendesk have some great research on this. Um, the TLDR of it is really um, ca measuring how many people are actually using your knowledge base compared to the number of customers submitting tickets. And ideally, you want to be growing as a company, having more and more customers, but you don't want to constantly be linearly increasing the number of tickets that support agents have to deal with. So we will um, use some metrics to measure the success of that initiative. Uh, and there's a linked issue there if anybody wants to comment or um, join in with that as we as we explore that and progress it. That's Thanks, me. Tom. Thanks, Lee. Thanks, Lyle. Um, in, uh, from a wrap perspective, we've got uh, the links there for the, our Q3 retro, which includes the, the good, bad try. Uh, I think the latest Clint Eastwood movie. Um, and then Q4 OKRs listed uh, the link there as well. A lot of the Q4 uh, was, a lot of the Q4 OKRs were referenced uh, in this presentation around knowledge sharing and some of the uh, process improvements, um, but also performance metrics, you know, holding ourselves accountable to responsiveness to the customers. Um, so that's it. Uh, going into conversation mode, uh, let me look at the chat. Da, 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 da. Yeah, any last questions or conversations or quotes, fun facts? So question from Reb on what is the value component? Yeah, that uh, we answered that a little bit lower. Okay. Uh, Reb's talking okay. about in the graph that I had and uh, the value component was percent of premium SLA achieved for that day. Excellent. Uh, Lyle, there's a couple questions on GitHost. Uh, you want to, uh, what can sell, how can health sales help and why folks moving from GitHost to GitHost, GitLab host instead of .com? I think you probably addressed that in the deck, but yeah. any other comments? Uh, how sales can help Lee also address. So, I mean, migrating into .com uh, sooner is uh, always great or migrating to self-hosted, also great. Um, so yeah. Uh, Lee said, reach out and support managers on Slack and we can continue the conversation there. But uh, essentially just the, the sooner you move, the sooner, the, the, the less work I have to do on GitHost. <laughs> essentially. <laughs> always, always, a, always a key element. Yeah, cool. yeah and to just echo on that, uh, if you are a um, account manager, account exec, and you have GitHost customers, yeah, just feel free to jump in to support managers and we can always talk about your specific customers and try and make a plan. We want to do that. We want to help your customers, explicitly yours, whoever you are out there. We want to help your customers. Uh, let's get them going and get them happy. Thanks Nadia for the call out there and referrals and for our hiring in APAC. We're eager to get some, uh, some assistance out there for uh, our new manager. Hopefully he will bring some re references as well. Anything else? Speak now or forever hold your Thursday. Okay, I'm not gonna verbalize it, but I'll go to five. I like this right. technique, Tom. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Lee, have fun at the conference. Everybody have a great Thursday. What's left of it for the EMEA folks? <laughs>